whenever someone whenever someone starts using personal names and screaming like a lunatic, they're losing the debate. Uh, rabbi Shmuley Boteach, he's a, he's a uh, rabbi who goes on in television and, and defends Jews and Israel, I suppose. Uh, he gave a real lesson to Cenk Uger about the history of the Middle East. Cenk was screaming and screaming and screaming. We're gonna start with then uh, the rabbi explaining a little bit of history and just watch Cenk's reaction. I've spent, I've spent my life debating people. Whenever someone, whenever someone starts using personal names and screaming like a lunatic, they're losing the debate. Let me remain You're factual. the one First who made up things. The Palestinians, the Palestinians, the Palestinians, the, uh, the Palestinians were offered a state in 1936 in the Peel Commission. They rejected it. They were offered a state in 1947, the UN Partition Plan. They rejected it. They were offered a state in 1967 after Israel conquered Judea and Samaria and the West Bank. They rejected it. They were offered a state in 2000, Yasser Arafat, Ehud Barak. They rejected it. They were offered a state with Ehud Omer 2008. They rejected it. They have the Israel unilaterally withdrew from Gaza in 2005, and they did not create a state. In fact, where were you, Cenk, when you say that you care about Palestinian children, when Hamas stole the highest rate of per capita international foreign aid, larger than the Marshall Plan, from Palestinian children, did not build schools for them, did not build hospitals, took all the money to buy bombs and to build a network of tunnels, which is larger than the, than the New York subway system. Where were you then? Why are, did you only come up now? In fact, when Bashar al-Assad killed 600,000 children, Arab children, when he gassed them with mustard gas, my organization took out full-page New York Times ads to protect them from sarin gas. Where were you then? You don't care about Arab children. You are a Jew hater, defined as someone who only Shut wants to lie up. and say that the Jews you are bigot. genocidaires. You and racist. don't try to cancel me and say that I shouldn't be on. Say, so, you know, I'm, I'm a little conflicted, not, not just because for the first time in all the years I showed a video of him, but you know, in some ways I, I owe Jank a certain amount of credit because if it wasn't for seeing his endless screaming and lack of knowledge and historical knowledge and actually his true bigotry and all of those things, I don't know that I ever would have really woken up to what the left was. So I don't regret working there as embarrassing as uh, it is, I suppose, in some level in retrospect that I had anything to do with those people. By the way, the name, the Young Turks, which is the name of the network, those were the groups of people in Turkey who committed the Armenian genocide, killed over a million Armenians. Uh, this is pre-World War I. I think it was, what was it, around 1910, if I'm not mistaken. And Hitler got the idea of the Holocaust from the Young Turks who were committing a genocide against the Armenians because the world didn't care about that. So then Hitler was like, oh, I guess I could probably pull this off because the world won't care about that. So Cenk literally named his organization after uh, an organization that was for a genocide, that committed a genocide, which if I'm not mistaken, he still denies. And then of course he calls the, the rabbi a racist and a bigot and the rest of it. Uh, but everything, and I, and I would welcome you to fact check it, everything that the rabbi said there was true, that the 1936 Peel Commission, by the way, you could watch my interview with RFK, he goes into all the history too. 1947, partition plan, 67 after that war, uh, 2000, 2008. There were so many times that the Palestinians could have had a state. It would have been the first time they had a state because there's never been a Palestinian state. The only people to ever offer the Palestinians a state are the Israelis. These are the facts. And that's why they can be laid out calmly and cleanly without screaming and without calling everyone a racist.